Meteorites found over the Earth belong to the same small planet, a study reveals. Well, we know that a comet impact about 13,000 years ago, believed to be in North America, and then found to be over Northern Europe, and then Northern Hemisphere, and then all over the world, was from the same comet. So this is something, it seems that uh, they break up or perhaps are fragmented, then impa uh, impact the Earth. Now, strange meteorites found all across Earth could have come from the so same small planet and then crashed into ours billions of years ago. This is what researchers found before the solar system was packed with eight planets that we know today, or nine or more, if you still include Pluto. It was uh, full of planetesimals. Planetesimals were essentially small planets ranging from a few meters to a few hundred miles wide. They were, made out of, they were made out of the dust which originally surrounded the sun, which either melted completely or simply turned into rubble piles as the bigger planets came to be. But strange meteorites found across Earth show that one planetesimal went against the trends. New research found that a series of meteorites across Earth came from the same celestial body. What has left scientists stumped, though, is that the family of meteorites came from one body, from a body that was both melted and turned into rubble, something which scientists did not think was possible. The study was from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and it revolutionized the way experts classify meteorites. The researchers believe they likely, the likely outcome was the planetesimal was made of several layers, including a liquid core, which produced a powerful magnetic field. And as a result, the solid outer layers, along with the me melted interior, both eventually collided with Earth billions of years down the line, allowing both melted the chondritic and unmelted the achondritic meteorites. The lead author, Clara Morrill, graduate student in MIT's Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences, EAPS, said, this is one example of a planetesimal that must have been melted and unmelted layers. It encourages searches for more evidence of composite planetary structures. Understanding the full spectrum of structures from non-melted to fully melted is key to deciphering how planetesimals formed in the early um, solar system. The team showed that it was possible for a body with a liquid core to collide with another object and for that impact to dislodge material from the core, of course. That material would then migrate to pockets close to the surface where the meteorites originate. And what the study also shows is because the planetesimal had a liquid core, it must have formed over millions of years, whereas before experts believed they formed instantaneously. And now the researchers will look to the asteroid belt to better understand if the planetesimal in question was unique. EAPS professor Benjamin Weiss said, most bodies in the asteroid belt appear unmelted on their surface. If we're eventually able to see inside asteroids, we might test this idea. Maybe some asteroids are melted inside, and bodies like this planetesimal are actually common, he said. This is on Express UK by Sean Martin. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation 
with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.